So welcome back to another tech tip from K20 Academy. My name is Atul Kumar and in this tech tip we are covering a troubleshooting of Oracle Access Manager. I have a training which is on Oracle Access Management where we cover Oracle Access Manager and OID and we also give a bonus on Oracle Identity Manager install and configure. So one of the attendees reported that since they've started integrating or since integration of Oracle Access Manager with Identity Manager, the Oracle Access Manager console is not working anymore. So if you're in a situation like that, how would you troubleshoot this and how would you log into Oracle Access Manager console? If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you already know the basic architecture of Oracle Access Manager. So first of all, let's every time you troubleshoot, first thing you should do is reproduce the problem. So let's first try to reproduce this problem. So as user was not unable to log into OM console, I'm trying to log into OM console. So in order to try log into OM console, you type the IP address of the machine, admin port number, OM console, hit enter. So if you notice, it's redirecting me to iam.k20technologies.com colon 7777 and then something OM server. So first you need to identify or understand why is it redirecting to 7777, which means typically 7777 port is for Oracle HTTP server, web server, it's redirecting to the me to the web server and it's OAM. So it's taking me to the Oracle access manager login page. Why is it taking me to Oracle access manager login page? And answer you will find for that is in weblogic console for Oracle access manager. So you go down onto the security realm and then you click on my realm and then you go to providers and this is an authentication provider that got added and in our training we cover this in detail in terms of so if you're part of training you will be following me or understanding me. So what you notice here is that there is an additional authentication provider called IAM suite agent that's get added into weblogic domain where Oracle Access Manager is deployed. So what this IAM suite does is it's a Java web gate or the web gate or policy enforcement point sitting on top of weblogic server with OAM server and it's to protect or redirect user to the single sign on page whenever someone try to access application on that. So what we do is when we integrate Oracle Access Manager with Identity Manager we delete this IAM suite agent or we remove this policy enforcement point or web gate from this weblogic server and deploy it with web gate. So in the integration, first thing you should be doing is removing this IAM suite agent and deploy that web gate or take this web gate much closer to the web server. So what I'm going to do, I put a lock and edit, then select this IAM suite agent and then delete it then click on yes. Now you go and say activate changes. And after that, you need to restart the weblogic domain on which this Oracle access manager server is deployed. So I'll quickly go and restart the OAM server. Once my weblogic domain on which OAM server is running is restarted. So I'll stop the OAM manage server, stop admin server and start the admin server again. And if I now type the server with admin server port 7001 forward slash OM console, I get window like this. And if I type now password here or user ID weblogic and welcome one. Now, since I'm integrated, I should use a user in my LDAP server like OID or OUD user. And that's usually typically that creates his OAM admin. But since I'm new to this, for example, I'm troubleshooting, I go to a customer site or you go to a customer site and you don't know that is being integrated, you try weblogic and welcome one and this login will fail. But how will you know whether it's integrated with OID or not, whether why this login is working or not. So in order to check that, we first have a look at the main Oracle access manager configuration file. So I'm on Oracle access manager server and I'm into domain home config FMW config. This is the main configuration folder for Oracle Access Manager. And in that I have a file called oamconfig.xml. So this config is the main Oracle Access Manager configuration file. So I'll say oamconfig.xml. 
and in that in order to find out where exactly my oracle access manager admin console or om console ldap server is i look for is system and in our training we have a dedicated module on integrating oracle access manager with oid where we discuss what is system store so i have multiple ldap servers and this is the default ldap server that comes with oracle access manager web logic which is embedded ldap server so this is set to false which means this is my not my ldap server integrated with om console or system store then i look for next and this one says true which means this is my ldap server which is integrated or which is configured for me to log in to om console so i scroll down and look at my configuration detail so this is my ldap server which is on the same server i am k21 where i am on 3060 that gives me indication that is oid because that's the oid or oracle internet directory default port here i will also see the ldap provider is of type oid so i need to pick a user that is in oid now for some reason if your oid is not available and if your system is not available you go back and you can shut down everything normally and you can change this om config from true is system from true for oid to your embedded ldap server again be careful to when you change this file very careful there's a procedure to change this file dynamically while system is up and running or you can change it by shutting down on the server if you change it dynamic while system is running or while server om server is running you need to take care of a versioning number or version number of this file so now i will log in as user web logic because i have changed my is system or system store from oid or ldap server external ldap server to embedded ldap server that comes with web logic server on which om is deployed and i'm straight into the oracle access manager console now if i want to check how oracle access manager server is protected or om console is protected i will go to application domain this oracle access manager console is a graphical user interface to manage entire om or oracle access manager server configuration so next check why at start user was re redirected to the 7777 port number so in order to find that out why it was redirected we saw that im suite agent was the main one culprit but where exactly this 7777 port definition is in so in order to find that out let's start from basics first thing a how a url or a application is protected in this case it's forward slash om console is protected is defined in application domain as a policy so you go and click under access manager application domain and look for the application domain that is protecting om console so i've clicked on that application domain clicked on search and then here you click on im suite and this is again covered in the module consoles in oracle access manager so you click on im suite and then you see this is my entire domain where my oracle access manager resources are protected so i'll click on resources and i look for resource oam console because that's what the url i'm trying to or the user was trying to access earlier so under resource url i search on oam console and click on search and then i see here it's protected by authentication policy oam admin console policy so i'll go into tab authentication policy and look for oam admin console policy again these things are covered in module oam console or consoles in oracle access manager so you scroll down and look for oam admin console policy here and because we want to see the authentication scheme or the page login page which is protecting this oam admin console policy authentication policy so here you see authentication scheme is oam admin console scheme now authentication schemes are not specific specific to an application domain that's applicable for all the domains within the oracle access manager so we go again to the launch pad and look for an authentication scheme that's om admin console so i'll click on authentication scheme 
and search for the authentication scheme. Scroll down and look for OEM admin console authentication scheme. So click on this OEM admin console scheme. Now here it's a form based so a user should be re redirected to a page which is will be redirect to an OEM server and pages login.jsp and the context value is OEM. That's why we were at start it was redirecting us to the colon 7777 forward slash OAM. That was the context value here. But where exactly this 777 coming from is, it's redirecting to this context value which OAM server creates this URL. Where exactly this is defined? This is again defined. So anything after the port number is from here. But what where exactly before the port number? You go back to here under configurations. Then you scroll down under settings. I will look for access manager setting. So here, this is my load balancer URL or front end URL. So if I implement Oracle HTTP server or a load balancer in front of Oracle access manager, and that's what IDM config tool or the integration of Oracle access manager does with Oracle identity manager. It puts a load balancer with Oracle HTTP server. So my OEM server is a load balancer URL. Protocol is HTTP and 7777, which is my HTTP server port. Now, by default, it will be on to port number 140. So it will be 14100. That's my Oracle Access Manager Managed Server Frontend port. So I'll, I'll change it back to the value 14100. Click Apply. And now it will redirect user to, instead of 7777, it will re redirect user to iam.ktonintechnologies.com colon 14100 forward slash om and http here and this is how the url is built so there's one more thing you need to check that your oem application is up and running so oracle access manager console is an application that gets deployed on to the admin server make sure that application is in state running so how you do you log into the weblogic console you go to under deployments here then on right hand side you scroll and look on next because the application name is OM console and it's showing me only the 10 application at a time. Then you go further next. And if you notice here, this is OAM underscore admin. So this is the application that is being serving my OAM console and the state here is active and it's okay. So if you see state active of OAM admin, that means my admin server application or OAM console application is up and running. So just to recap, if you are unable to access OM console, first thing you need to do is come to WebLogic console, check that application state is active and okay. If there's any problem, look at, if this application is not up and active, look at admin server log file. Then second thing is you need to look at, as I showed earlier, is in my system store pointing to which server? Is it pointing to the embedded LDAP server or OID? And then third thing is the front end load balancer URL. Is it pointing to the HTTP server or to the port number 14,100, which is a front end port number for OAM. Now there's a hint for you, or there's another teaser for you that there's another port called proxy port, which is 5575. So stay tuned for my next video on about what is the proxy port, what all clients connect to the proxy port and what are common issues related to connecting to that proxy port? Well, this is slightly longer tip with where we covered how to troubleshoot OM console. My name is Atul Kumar. This was presented by Keton in Academy. And if you want to learn more or if you want to be part of our training program, you can go into k20inacademy.com forward slash OAM. Or if you're a beginner and if you're just exploring, if you're new to Oracle access management, or identity in access management and would like to know why you should learn identity in access management or what all things you need to learn, come and join me for a free one hour webinar session, which is on k 20 academycom forward slash OAM02. I repeat, it's k 20 academycom forward slash OAM02. I'll see you in that free webinar. If you like this session, if you want to see more of these sessions, if you have any question related to this session, then leave it as comment somewhere below into the video 
or if you're listening on my blog, which is ketundinacademy.com forward slash blog, then leave that comment on the blog. And don't forget to subscribe for any updates so that you get more of these videos or tech tips. I Atul Kumar with my entire team at K20 Academy. Thank you for watching this video.